Angelina used one third of a bag of soil to fill six flower pots. She filled each flower pot with the same amount of soil. How much soil did she use to fill each flower pot? Keaton, is she going to use more than one third or less than one third of a bag for each pot? Less, why? Okay, so she starts with one third. So she's taking that one third and she's splitting it up how many ways, Ella? Six. Six ways. Starts with one third, we split it six ways. So if I were going to ask you to tell me the equation, Rebecca, what would be the equation for this problem? Six divided by one third. Why are you dividing six? We're dividing, are we dividing the flower pots or the bag of soil? The bag of soil. Bag of soil. Okay, so we're dividing one third by six. One third divided by six. Now, Keaton already told me we have each flower pot is going to get less than one third <coughs> of a bag. Less than one third of a bag. Manus, how much is each flower pot going to get? One sixteen. One what? One sixteen. Not one sixteen. Layla? One eighteen. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> one of a bag. So each flower pot gets one eighteenth of a bag. One eighteenth of a bag. The first thing that we did when we looked at this is we got to decide what we're splitting up. If we're splitting up the bag of soil or if we're splitting up the flower pots. That's important, because if this were multiple choice, I guarantee you 18 would be an answer. So you need to identify what you're splitting up first, and then you can write the equation when we are doing division with unit fractions and whole numbers. If you start with a unit fraction, your answer is always a unit fraction. If you start with the whole number, your answer is always a whole number when division with unit fractions and a whole number.